Hey guys, welcome back to Boost Hunter Garage. Uh, today's gonna be something a little different. Uh, we've got my wife Selena here with me. And uh, so basically how this started was earlier this week, she had mentioned to me that her vehicle needed an oil change and then she had asked uh, if she could help do the oil change. And I was like, well, we'll do one better. You're gonna do it yourself. And I'll just stand and watch and help if you need it, but we're gonna see if she can do it herself. I think she'll, uh, be able to do it uh she's been around well she's the one that edits all my videos so she sees me do a lot of stuff and she's usually out here helping me so basically we just set out i went and picked up the stuff for her got some oil we got the filter i got the ratchet out that she should need to take the plug out i cannot find we've been searching for the past little bit here and i cannot find my filter kind of like plier wrenches so she's gonna have to try use this uh little strap wrench so see maybe I have to give her a hand with that uh but yeah she's got an 08 nitro here we got the pan sitting out we got her uh creeper here to go under with and uh she's never done this so we're gonna <laughs> see goes. see how it goes see if she drains the right fluids or not so uh, <laughs> let's get to it here we'll get the hood opened up and everything set up and let her have at it okay so we got the hood opened up and as you can see also we got it up on some stands for her here. So what are you gonna do first? Try to find the plug <laughs> and take the plug out and drain the oil. Okay, so we'll get set up here, crawl under there. I'll go around the other side so we can get a better view. Okay, so we just had to put a different socket. I had to get a 12 point, that nut's kind of screwed up on it, so. Come on, put your muscle in there. <laughs> I put her on a little too tight last time. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah. I can give you a longer ratchet if you want. I'd probably just put it on there too tighter. That one's probably why it got stripped in the first place. There you go. That won't take it all too far, right? Yeah. I mean, you definitely don't want to wear. Hand. Yeah, you definitely don't want to wear the oil. That's for sure. You can tell his gloves are a little big for you. Yep, make sure you don't get sprayed with it. Make sure your pan's in the right spot. There you go. How much you get on you? Cool. That's uh, not too bad. At least it's not running down your arm. <laughs> there we go. Just a few drips left. What do you got to do now? Put the plug back in. Okay, do you know what the next, what's your next plan, next step you're gonna do? Let's take the oil filter out. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's throw that plug back in there. Maybe. Get her in there. Sure. 
Uh, I never touched it. I don't think. Hmm. Yep, yeah, just snug her up to your well, heel. That's pretty snug. Okay, we'll leave her there. I guess we'll know if it leaks later. <laughs> Socket came off. Yeah. And then you got lubed up from the oil. Yeah. Alrighty, Let's see if you can figure out this uh, strap wrench here. There you go. See if is this it the right way. Yep. Yeah. You're doing a good job. It might be that strap wrench might not be the strongest thing for this. There oh, go. there you go. Jump. Watch, it's gonna get slippery just so you don't want to drop it because it's gonna splash all over. Dang. <laughs> get an oil oh, bath. She's slick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frick. Well, it's still on there. You, if you want to reposition, oh. I'm gonna back up so I don't take an oil bath. <laughs> Oh, there you go. I thought for sure you're getting an oil bath. Good job. It's gonna take these off. How about I'll just be a nice apprentice and I'll uh, get you your new uh, filter and paper towel. Got those hands cleaned up. Now what are you doing? Putting the new filter back on. Is there anything you gotta do before you put it on? Lube her up. <laughs> get that o-ring lubed up. Nope. Just make sure you don't get any debris in it when you're on this filthy vehicle, but get her on there. Make sure you don't cross thread it. You said hand tight. Like as tight as I can get it? Yeah, I can grab her after and just snug her up, make sure it's good, but it looks like you got a good grip on it. About as tight as I can get it. Okay, you think you're good? I think so. Oh. Okay, so you got everything tight. This thing's a little dirty in here. We're gonna have to clean this vehicle once it gets nice out here, but... Okay, so you're good under the vehicle now? I think so. <laughs> Ready to get this thing off the stands? Okay, we'll get that ready. Okay, so we're ready to put the oil in. Uh, since we got short girl problems <laughs> here, we had to uh, get her stepladder out here so she can get her first little bit of oil before we back it off here. So let's get to her, see what we can do. Had her going, it's just sticking. Oh, Don't let it beat you. Give you the tallest uh, <laughs> funnel I had. Problem with the tight garage to get around to the other side where I keep my uh, other funnels. Got to open the door, go around or climb over the truck. So she got the one that was the closest one, which is this nice big tall one.
how much you're gonna put in. Just put that one in and then we'll check her. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you get the, <laughs> the foil off there. You don't want the engine eating that. I think you'll be There's good there. Flakies? Yeah, you'll be fine. Make sure she's not pouring out the bottom. Oh, <laughs> we're good. Just gulping it down. Some of that fresh castor oil in there. Next, fresh. Next step, paint glitter. Yeah. Yeah, it'll run real good when you put that in there. You got her filled up there. Got one in it. <laughs> it's all the way out. Yep. Need some paper towel or what? Yeah, probably. Please. Here's one chunk. Make sure she's on there. There we go. What's up now? Uh, take it off the stands and then turn it on. Well, turn it on and take it off the stands. Yeah. Or do you want to check the dipstick first? You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you had it right. We're going to fire it up. You can back it off the stands and then we'll check the level and see where we're at once it's ran up for a quick bit there and moved all the oil around. Got her down off the stands. Tell them what you're doing here. Well, I gotta check it. I gotta wipe it first and then you re dip. Okay. Pop a hole, top me that one. Yeah. Yep. I can see. Where are you at? No, up here. Looks darkest. Like, it looks like a little gap. I'm darkest up there. What do you think? I'd say it's pretty good, but wipe her one more time and we'll double check it. Okay, so what did you figure out? That it was a little bit full. But I said that's okay because recently this thing's developed a leak on the bot, uh, coming out the bottom end here. It was fine for a bit, so. A little bit extra it's just security and uh, we're gonna be selling this thing soon so uh, we'll find that leak and fix it up for now uh, I would say that's pretty good so we got her topped off here I think she's did a pretty good job herself so I'm proud of her for doing that Thanks. and uh, one other thing we were gonna quickly fix she just recently got a new windshield in this thing and the other day on the highway uh, it got a rock chip in it so we're when I was picking up the oil um, I decided to get uh, just this Rain-X uh, windshield repair kit. So uh, she's going to give that a try and we'll see if that just keeps that crack from spreading. So let's see how this stuff works. Okay, it's probably going to be kind of tough. Well, you can kind of see it on the camera. It is super minor, like you can barely feel it, but that's what we're talking about and that's what we're going to try fix here.
All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, something a little different. Uh, I'm proud of her for doing this. I know a lot of guys that can't even change their own oil. Yeah, I know it's something simple, but people just can't do it. And uh, I'm proud of her for being able to do it. What do you think of working on it? It was pretty easy. Yeah? You should, everyone else should let their wives do their oil at least once. Yeah, I guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe see if you can get your wife to uh, change the oil in her vehicle. Uh, see what happens there. We got that crack fixed. It seems like it uh, worked. She did most of it. Yeah, seemed easy. Easy to do. So we'll see how that lasts. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe.